Hello, my name is Russell Boudry, Router Product Manager here at the Dallas-Fort Worth Multicam Manufacturing Facility. And today I want to tell you a little bit about an option that we've had for many years, how to accurately locate and rotate for a job file and a material. Now this may be happening because you have a very heavy piece of material or you don't have locator pins, but you need to accurately define the angle at which your material is laying on the table and I'm going to show you how to do that now. There's two ways that you can do a locate and rotate. One is with simple tooling and the other one is with the laser pointer. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with some tooling here. I'm using a half inch tool here and I'm just going to simply uh, go into my menu and use my rotate utility. So it's going to allow me to jog up and I'm going to set a point here and then go back and set a point down at the back end and that gives me my simple rotation values. You don't have to be anywhere specific. I like to pull the tool down pretty close. Get over. And then you can feel when the tool just touches. All right, there it goes, it's touching now. I'm gonna press enter, that gets me my first point. I'm gonna lift up and go to the back now. Now the longer the axis uh, that you go, the more accurate your rotation value will be. I'm gonna come back here and do the same thing. and it's just touching, I'm gonna to press enter, and it gives me a value on my keypad here of 3.843 degrees, which is the rotation. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take G-code that's designed to be perfectly parallel with the X-axis and perpendicular to the Y, and it's gonna rotate that G-code by 3.84 degrees. Now another way that you can do this in a more user-friendly fashion is the laser pointer. When I press zero, my laser pointer is going to turn on and I can do the exact same option where I go in and I use my job rotation and it's going to ask me for that first point. I'm going to bring my crosshairs over here to be right in the dead center of those hairs and I'm going to press enter. Now it's gonna ask me for the second point. I'm gonna to jog to the back. I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna put those hairs in the same location right at the division. And I'm gonna press enter. And my value is 3.84. So almost exactly the same number as with the tool. Now, the laser pointer is not quite as accurate. You might be within 15 thousandths, um, but on the tool, you'll probably be within five thousandths. So whatever meets your need is, um, is just fine. All right, to accurately locate the corner of a rotated piece, uh, once again, I'm gonna use a tool. It's a simple V-bit. And I'm just gonna put the corner of the, um, the, the tip of the bit at the very corner of the material. And this should get me within thousandths. All right, I am right there on it, and I'm just gonna simply set a home there. So now using my tools, I've been able to rotate and locate. I'm gonna do the exact same thing again, but I'm gonna use the laser pointer. So when I turn the laser pointer on, I'm just gonna simply jog it over to where the crosshairs hit just at the corner.
and I'm going to set a home. So either one of these ways can pretty accurately get you right at the dead corner of your material.